Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a Gunner Morbat. Now this one you probably haven't seen before because this one is actually exclusive to all round of cricket. Now they're based in Headingley and Sheffield, UK. So they've got a arrangement with Gunner Moore to supply them this particular uh, model. The Hero is an older model that GM used to make. Um, I'll have a look back through the old, um, what do they call them? book of cricket that they put out each year uh, which has got their models and I'll post some pictures over the top of this showing the older uh, styles that they used to do. So the Hero uh, has been around for a while but this is basically a shop exclusive version. Now they market this one as seasoned unblemished grade 2 English Willow. Uh, minor blemishes, maybe some colour on the edge, fitted with good quality treble spring handle, GM now, toe tech, uh, exclusively made for all-rounder. So you can see here that's a 909. Now normally in the book of cricket that GM put out, 909 is grade one. The minimum number of grades, grains uh, for grade one is six grains with no blemishes. Um, so I don't know if you'd count those kind of little bits of spec as, as blemishes, uh, but you got one, two, three, four, five, six. So maybe um, just to be fair, they're saying, all right, that's that's the best quality uh, grade two unblemished that they can get. Did have a look online uh, for this particular bat um, and delivered from England. You can get this for $356. This is why it's really hard for Australian based businesses to compete with, with the bats coming directly from England. Um, but in this case, I don't think there is any competition because this bat's just not supplied here. Now have a look at that shape. That shape is a real low middle uh, where you've got this uh, handle running up into a thick semi-oval, typical GM handle, then the spine starts up quite high, um, but it's not really peaking anywhere. It's just running all the way through to a mid-low position and then down into the toe. So. You've got there basically a low uh, middle that is extended high and you can see it's low by the way the edge peaks in a low position here um, but it would extend high i would imagine the hitting area on this would be somewhere from here to here but because of that high spine if you, if you middle it it's going to go it's not a, uh, a spec bat by any stretch of the imagination you're looking at a 32 mil there on that edge um, shoulders here, they're quite decent, look at that, 19. So they tried to maintain some weight and thickness up here to stop that sort of splitting effect that goes on uh, when the, the shoulders are too thin. Uh, as far as the thickness at the top of the spine there, it's 40 mil, so quite decent. Thickness at the toe edge is around 20 and that center is 29 so as you can see why is that it's because it's got that spine running all the way through to the toe I'll put that on the other camera so you can see that there now obviously it's got the toe tech on so that means I can't show you the grains uh, where they run directly down the center but I can show you the shoulders and if you have a look uh, really closely you can see that nice straight grain there so they're nice and straight uh, on both sides. So this is one of the modern uh, GMs uh, which would be representative of this season. As you can see that there, hopefully that orange really comes out. It looks to be really pinging off that camera. I'll show it on the other one and that seems to be a more natural look. So what does it feel like in my hands? Um, it, it's actually a really nice pickup I've got to say. Heaps of bat speed. It actually yeah I reckon that feels just over or maybe on dead on uh, 2.8 maybe less actually. So yeah, it's got a lovely pickup to be honest. Uh, and it's pretty impressive for a bat with such a low middle. Gonna more, more on the traditional side. They don't try to go for that really big style bat um, and cut corners on weights and things like that. And we'll see how much it weighs. So 285, it actually picks up a lot better than it actually is. So that's pretty impressive. Uh, and I know Jono likes a low middle bat. He's, a, he's pretty much a hitter. So he's gonna be hitting a lot out of this area. Let's tap up the grey nickels. First, remember, look at the ping. Remembering this is a played in bat. 
and then we'll tap up the non knot uh, gunner more. So starting at the toe. So obviously that's got a lot more wood down in that sort of area there, but it's also got a much higher middle. It's got nothing happening there. And now we will tap up the hero. Actually, that's going quite good out of that middle, the mid-low position. Yeah, and as I expected from about there through to a low position is all the action. So we got that sort of area to hit from. Off center, not as much, but basically you've got a good inch and a half middle that's probably good 18 centimeters long. So it's pretty decent and it's, it's possible by the fact that you've got that traditional sort of edge profile, much straighter rather than peaking anywhere. Yeah, there you go. Thank you very much to Jono for supplying that bat for review. And that will be up with you soon. Gunner more.